since my um, steak recipe was kind of positively received, let me just tilt that, that forward again. I have to get it right in the right spot, otherwise it goes a bit dodgy, I guess. I don't know. Um, well, yeah, since my... Just, what do you want? Why it's the brightest room, okay? Yeah. Everywhere else is dark. Just go turn on the lights. I did, I did it in the bedroom the other day and it was still like black. You yeah, couldn't yeah. see anything. Right, now that we've got had that interruption, let's try that one again. And you're not imagining things, it has changed colour. It's, it is now black. <laughs> um, Oh, I was saying it again. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I know most people would just edit this out, but I'm just going to leave it in. Yeah. Low cake, that's it. I, I'm, I decided to make a garden syrup low cake earlier today, just to see how it would go. Um, and we had some garden syrup <laughs> to use, so I made it and it it was quite nice and Kitty wants to say hello. Hello. Jordan. Hey. I mean you can't stand on me because you can press all the buttons. You should go then. Hmm. No. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna share that recipe with you today. Uh basically I've forgotten what I needed, so I, I wrote it all down, so I'm just going to bring that up while I'm filming this, um, that I can read it off, basically. Give me a minute. Right, so you'll need three to five eggs, I mean, it depends on you like the case. If you're like me, and you're like, I'm a bit drier, which sounds dodgy, but I don't like really wet cakes, if you know what I mean. But you only need three if you like them drier, five if you like them a bit more moist. And yes, I am doing in the in a bathroom because it's the brightest room in the house. Um, about 350 grams of self-raising flour. I never measure, so I can't say for exact. Uh, you need a tin of golden syrup, obviously. About half a cup of sugar. A couple of knobs of butter. Not, you know, like spoons not anything else and a little bit to grease your tin because you don't want to stick because that's just horrible um preferably a loaf tin because obviously it's like a loaf shaped cake but you can use any tin and it will still be the same it'll still be cake uh you need some baking paper again stop it sticking you don't want that and a whisk don't use an electric whisk because that's just ridiculous you have hands Use a bloody hand whisk. <laughs> and you need a mixing bowl. That one's always obvious. And <laughs> some people genuinely wonder what you're supposed to like mix it all up in if you don't mention that you need a bowl. So, how to make this cake. Uh, you want to grease and line your, your cake tin first because otherwise it's going to get in the way later. Um, and preheat your oven to... About, about 180 degrees, I'd say. Um, put all the flour in the bowl. You don't have to sift it, but if you want to, that's fine. Crack in three of the eggs and uh, whisk them in, like combine it. If you want to make it like a more runny mix, then add more, but don't forget that the syrup and the butter will make it runnier. So, after your eggs have gone in, add your syrup. You can have as much as you want or as little as you want. It's completely up to you. But I use about half a tin. <laughs> it doesn't sweeten it, but it does make the outside like really nice and crusty. It, I, I really like that I do. <laughs> but it, it, it also makes it like really gold. Like in the colour of the, the cake, it's, it's quite golden and yellow. And it does look quite good. Then melt your butter. I do it in a microwave because I cheat. You want to put it in for about 30 seconds in a microwavable cup. Otherwise you're going to blow up your microwave or something. Um, and then whisk that in. Then add your sugar. You don't have to. But like I said, the syrup doesn't sweeten it. The sugar will. Um, and I add it at this point 
because it helps to make the outside nice and crusty, not looking yeah. brown and that. It just, I don't know how, but it does. Really, cat? Playing with the door. Um, whisk it in, obviously, and then leave it for a couple of minutes while you make sure your oven's hot and you whatever. And then give it a final whisk just to make it sure it's all combined and it's so lovely and nice and <laughs> whatever. Um, pour it into your tin and stick it in the oven. Now I use a fan assisted electric oven so it takes sort of 35 to 40 minutes. Or if you're using a gas oven, probably take about half an hour. I can't say for sure but that probably won't be. But if you want to know if it's cooked, just stick like if you've got a toothpick, stick a toothpick in the middle and if it comes out clean with no cake mix stuck to it, it's done. If it comes out with cake mix stuck into it, put it back in for five minutes and test it again. Use a clean pick though, because otherwise you're going to be like, I don't know. Um, uh, as a serving suggestion, a little bit of golden syrup drizzled on the top and some nice hot custard. I think that'd be nice, <laughs> I just ate it on its own. <laughs> So, yeah, that's my cake recipe. I hope you enjoy it. I should mention, right, that I do my recipes, and they are my own recipes, I do just come up with them when I feel like it, to suit mine and Joe's taste. It's not what I think other people would like, especially, unless I post it, in which case I think you will like it. But obviously, if you do want to change anything, that's absolutely fine. You know, it, it, you do have to make stuff to suit your own taste and that so yeah i hope you enjoy your cake <laughs>